you can start it. Okay, so this video is to show you my rec recommended method for finding the coronary arteries and their branches on the heart. So this heart was taken out of the cadaver yesterday. And let's get oriented first. So I always look for the auricle of the right atrium, and that tells me where the superior vena cava is. So this is the right atrium. This is the superior vena cava. Here's the auricle of the right atrium, right atrium. So that tells me that this fat right here, so blood vessels and nerves usually are covered and protected by fat. So it tells me that this fat is sitting in the coronary sulcus between the right atrium and the right ventricle. So what is this then? And this. So this is the pulmonary trunk and this is the aorta. Now I'm gonna trim this aorta a little bit and hope that table one from summer of 2023, is that right? Somebody say yes? Yes. Um, doesn't mind, I trim, make their aorta shorter. We know that the right and left coronary arteries are branches off of the ascending aorta. So I'm sticking my finger down the aorta and I'm gonna fish around and see if I can feel the opening for the right coronary artery. Mm, I think I feel something, but I'm not sure. But I know the right coronary is gonna travel in this fat. So, I'm gonna take my scissors, and what you do not want to do, do not take forceps and try to pick the fat off of the heart. What you're gonna do instead is scissor like separate the fat. So I'm gonna feel around on the, at the base of this ascending aorta, aorta and see if I can feel the right coronary artery. And I wanna go transversely across it and I think I feel it right here. So take my scissors again, see how I'm just sticking my scissors in closed and then opening them. And so I'm just kind of separating the fat. Stick it in closed, separate. Stick it in closed and separate. And I might cut that little fat off. So I'm gonna feel again, and yes, I feel. Layla, are you on my right? Yes. Feel right here. Super cool. And you can tell that that's yep. an artery. Mm -hmm. And if you go tra uh, perpendicular to the artery, you go off it on the artery. Who else wants to feel? Come in in here and feel it. Yeah, now go cool. transversely. You're going parallel to it. Now go across it. See it? Mm -hmm. Okay, next. And at what they're doing is everybody's oh, rubbing yeah. the fat off of it. I can right? See that. That's awesome. See how it's now more visible? So I'm going to take my scissors again. Get and see how I'm putting my scissors in parallel to the artery and pushing things away off of it. So the dissector, Grant's dissector tells you to start with the veins. I like starting with the arteries. So that's what I usually tell my students. Pat, what do you all think? Doesn't that look good? That's great. And is it bigger or smaller than you thought it was gonna be or just exactly the same? It's bigger. So here's the, the aorta and there it is coming off. Do you think you should zoom in or get closer to it? I don't know. I think I'm gonna cut this little branch off. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep on following it. And you know, I should have an atlas out. I'm looking at the atlas to see the course of the artery, right? And I know, um, maybe I've already watched one of the videos that shows it already dissected and it's gonna travel in this coronary sulcus between the right atrium and the right ventricle. And 
and I'll just keep on following it. There are three branches off the right coronary that you need to find, and um, the dissector will outline those. Um, but I think this is a really good start for the right coronary. So if we go back to what the heart looked like before, right? Here was that oracle of the right atrium, superior vena cava, aorta, pulmonary trunk. And if I just flip up this piece of fat, and I could just cut that off, just trim it. But there's the right coronary. In the coronary sulcus, between the right atrium and the right ventricle. So now let's look for the left coronary. So this is not a finished dissection. I just wanted to show you all how to get it started. And just, you know, kind of like smushing the fat kind of emulsifies it and makes it be a little less. Okay, so the left coronary will be on the left side. So let's turn it like this. So let's identify these things. This is a very nice, you all did a great job taking this out. So these are pulmonary veins, and this is the left atrium. Pulmonary veins, okay. We already identified the aorta before and the pulmonary trunk. So this is the left atrium, right? The left atrium has a little oracle too. Here it is. An oracle means ear shaped. This is a cute little ear. Look at that little ear. So the left coronary is going to be coming off the aorta, and I need to get the pulmonary trunk out of the way. So I'm going to separate the pulmonary trunk from the aorta. Okay, so I'm trying to fold this. I'm gonna just stick my finger in it. Pulmonary trunk. There's the aorta. Okay, so the left coronary is much shorter than the right. Remember, I, I first I wanna, ooh, I can put my finger in the left coronary. I have it down the ascending aorta and I can feel the opening. And then I'm going to take my finger and see if I can feel on the outside. Oop, I already feel it. Okay, you guys try. Can you feel it? So before I even do any scissoring, I'm feeling it. Feel it? Oh, we have new gloves joining us. <laughs> so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to turn it around so that I'm scissoring this way so I'm just going parallel to where I think the artery is well I see it see it can you see it now with your eyes yeah so again I'm gonna you know I'm not picking things off, I'm separating things away from the aorta, I mean from the artery. So this, the left coronary, has only two branches that you need, need to find, and um, so you get the atlas out, the dissector out, look at where those branches are supposed to go. Could somebody else hold the heart just like that? Thanks. And I just want to get, just because I want to make it tidy before I leave it for you, I'm going to take this off. So you can see it. If I stick my finger in, I can feel that opening. Okay, somebody else stick their finger in. 
So we're putting our finger down the ascending aorta, and you're going to feel to see if you can get your finger <laughs> in the opening for it. Oh, yeah. I can totally feel that's cool. Isn't that surprising? Yeah. Yeah. And maybe I'd, I'd go back now, to, now that i found the right coronary, and it's not as easy to get in. All right, so hope that's helpful for everybody to learn how to start dissecting the coronary arteries.